I had a full day of eating ahead of me in Nashville, and I was craving fried chicken, so I went to Waldo's Chicken and Beer for some top-notch food. I was also thirsty, so I checked out a really neat brewery called Monday Night Preservation and Company and drank at a distillery called Standard Proof Whiskey Company. However, before I could do any of that, I had a marathon to run. I woke up early, got ready, and was pretty damn nervous. It was gonna be a hot day, but I was at least happy that the marathon was still on. I was worried that the heat would have canceled the event. In fact, earlier in the month, the Twin Cities Marathon was called off due to the weather, which was only slightly warmer than the temperatures I would be experiencing during my race. Regardless of the heat, I was still gonna give the marathon my all. After a bit of a walk, I made it to First Horizon Park, which was the location of both the race's start and finish lines. At the marathon, pretty nervous. It's warm out. Ugh. But I'm gonna try my best, as always. Time to check my bag and run a marathon. It wasn't long before the marathon began and I was off running the streets of Nashville. The first part of the race was particularly challenging as the course was pretty hilly, but it became even more difficult as the sun rose in the sky and the day heated up. But one of the real challenges came when the half marathoners split up from the marathoners, leaving me virtually alone for the final half of the race. Although running alongside the Cumberland River provided some very beautiful views, it was nevertheless difficult to push through when there weren't many runners near me providing that extra bit of motivation. Plus, I was hot and thirsty and water stations were few and far between. But I was nearing the end and I crossed the finish line in 3 hours and 24 minutes and 38 seconds coming in 17th place overall. I am done. Totally exhausted. It's intense. It was brutal. I need to rest. As I was rehydrating, I contemplated the race. It was far from my fastest marathon time, but considering the conditions, it was a decent effort as the temperature neared 80 degrees when I finished the race. All in all, when I walked outside of that stadium, I felt victorious. A little more coherent now. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, shower first, espresso, beer, whiskey, I need to eat. Yeah, priorities. Back at the hotel, this shower is going to be the best shower ever. As expected, that shower was like the best 10 minutes of my entire life. Oh, I could have stayed in that bathroom forever and died a happy man. But there is simply no time to waste with the marathon done. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders and now I can fully partake into some of the fun things that I wasn't able to before the race, namely adult beverages and hot chicken. But first I need caffeine, then lunch. I made my way to the Germantown neighborhood of Nashville to check out Barista Parlor, one of the top places for coffee in the city. I ordered an espresso and my God was it good. It felt like the gates of heaven were opening before me as that precious liquid hit my palate. That espresso was so delicious. That really hit the spot. Not to mention, this is such a cool coffee shop. They got some really professional coffee making apparatuses. I'm loving it here. And I just chose this place randomly. I mean, it was literally the closest spot that served coffee near my hotel. I'd love to spend a lot more time here, but I really gotta restore some of those calories I burned. Lunchtime is now. As I was leaving Barista Parlor, a mug depicting the Concorde caught my eye and I had to have it. I'm a huge fan of aviation and the Concorde remains one of the most iconic planes of all time. Considering that I also love coffee, that mug served as a nice souvenir. Anyways, only a block away was a location of Waldo's Chicken and Beer where I went for lunch. Mark Waldo started the establishment in 2019 and since then has expanded the concept by opening other Waldos in Tennessee and other states. With a name like Waldo's Chicken and Beer, I obviously had to get chicken and beer. For my beverage, I went with the 10 Golden Lager from Tailgate Brewery. The beer was 
cool, tasty, and refreshing. There's just nothing like a post-marathon beer. To eat, I was hungry. I burned a hell of a lot of calories and I had to restore them, so I got a half-fried chicken, which included two sides and a cheddar biscuit for $16.99 before tax. In addition to fried chicken, the restaurant also offers rotisserie chicken, but I was pretty damn happy with the chicken I got. Both the white and dark meat were so incredibly juicy with a perfectly crispy and flavorful skin. Plain and simple, the chicken was fantastic. In terms of my sides, one of them were the french fries and they hit the mark. The fries are cut fresh daily and I thought that they were adequately seasoned with a good taste. My other side was a bowl of collard greens and once again the food delivered on flavor. The greens were delicious. In addition, all of the platters come with a cheddar biscuit, which I also found to be very good. I was just loving my lunch. It felt so nice to have fresh food in front of me and a cold beer in my hand when only hours earlier I was running through the streets of Nashville. My visit to Waldo's Chicken and Beer was a great one. That was so good. That chicken was so crispy, juicy, and fresh. I loved it. I also think the fact that I had to run such an arduous marathon to actually eat that lunch made it just taste that much better. It was so good. Anyways, there's a nearby brewery, so I'm gonna go check that out. I headed to Monday Night Preservation Company, a brewery that's housed in an old meatpacking facility that's part of a mixed-use waterfront development along the Cumberland River. Aesthetically, the brewery was incredible, especially when it came to the ample outdoor seating. Monday Night's Tap Room offers a varied selection of 24 draft beers. I went with the Black Rainbow, which is a Neapolitan-inspired Imperial Milk Stout. I absolutely loved the beer. It was dessert-like and chocolatey. The beverage also had a pretty high alcohol content at 13%, but it certainly didn't taste like it as it went down very smoothly. While enjoying my beer, I also did a bit of reading. My book was Graham Greene's Orient Express. It was decent. The story largely takes place on the famed Orient Express train. In fact, Greene's novel came out even before Agatha Christie's iconic murder on the Orient Express. Overall, I had a great time at Monday Night Preservation Company. That was a very delicious beer, and I really enjoyed that brewery. The vibe there was awesome. They had a really nice selection of beers there, especially dark ones, which are my favorite. Now, I would have loved to have had another beer, but the fact is I'm on a trip here, and I want to try as many places as possible. So I'm going to go to a distillery next. Now, it does seem like it's a bit of a walk, and I'm worried that it might be pretty crowded, at least according to Google. It's like it's prime time right now, but... uh. Fingers crossed, and uh, hopefully I'll enjoy some very nice whiskey. Also, I'm having such a nice day right now. It felt like the last two days I was rushing from one thing to another, but now with the marathon over, I can relax, take my time, and enjoy this wonderful city. I set out for Standard Proof Whiskey Company, which was about a mile and a half walk from my position. Despite having run a marathon earlier, the walking didn't bother me at all. I had so much strength and energy. Plus, I was in such a fantastic mood. I was feeling great about myself. Although, I really needed to use the washroom. Thankfully, I made it to Standard Proof, utilized the bathroom, settled into the bar, and began exploring the menu. The Micro Distillery offers a selection of whiskey-based cocktails and affordable straight pours of their offerings. Since it was my first visit, I went with the Whiskey Tasting for $25, which included seven of the establishment's whiskeys. The flight even included ice cubes, but I mostly prefer to enjoy my whiskey neat. I started my tasting with Standard Proof's Straight Rye, which I enjoyed. The other offerings were infused whiskeys. Now, I have mixed opinions when it comes to infusing certain beverages. Some of the flavors, like coffee and pecan, are natural complements to whiskey and thus tasted very nice. Others, like the pineapple and honeysuckle, weren't bad at all, but just didn't mesh as well like some of the other flavors did. Still, I really enjoyed trying such a variety of whiskey. Plus, I got to do a little reading. My visit to Standard Proof was certainly a good one.
That was some good whiskey. I love the variety of flavors. Really enjoyed that place. You know, I feel like all I've done today was literally eat, drink, and run, which is not bad because those are my favorite things. Anyways, what do you know? It's almost dinner time. So I'm going to a food hall. I think it's a assembly food hall. I think it's open to 12 a.m. today, but uh, I think there's a pizza place in there. I gotta try it. Although I'm not super hungry right now, I'm gonna probably take a leisurely walk, uh, maybe get some photos and, you know, just enjoy Nashville. So off to food and uh, sightseeing. I took a stroll down Broadway and the energy on that street was incredible. There was live music pouring out of every bar while the sidewalks were filled with people. I just felt so good. I was doing what I love. I was in the midst of an adventure in a new city with sights to see and amazing food to eat, all the while pushing myself physically to the limit with my marathon. My self-esteem was on another level and I was immensely happy. Soon enough, it was time for dinner, so I went to the massive assembly food hall. The hub features outposts of many of Nashville's most notable restaurants, and they even have live music. I had a taste for pizza, so I went to DeSano Pizzeria. The restaurant claims to serve authentic Neapolitan pies by following the strict guidelines of the Associazione Verace Pizza Napoletana. I got a 12-inch Imaiale pizza, also known as the Pig Pizza. It contains San Marzano tomato sauce, scamorza, mozzarella di bufala, prosciutto, pancetta, garlic, pecorino romano, and fresh basil. Overall, I thought that it was a pretty good pizza. It had a nice cook from the wood-burning oven, and the toppings combined for a great flavor flavor combination. The pizza proved to be very satisfying. However, when it came to beverages, I just wanted some simple tap water. Like pretty much every American restaurant, Assembly Food Hall provides their patrons with free tap water, but it comes in one of the most impractical cups ever. This water cup is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the disgrace. The reasoning for the near useless cups is that the food hall probably wants their customers to spend money on drinks rather than just consuming free water. This obviously ticked me off. For my next visit to Assembly Food Hall, I'll be sure to bring some sort of stand which would allow me to set those horrible cone-shaped cups on the table. Despite that one annoyance, it really was an enjoyable evening. After finishing, I took a long walk back to my hotel. Oh, just got back to the hotel. Boy, I'm exhausted. I mean, with the marathon and all the walking I did after, I probably put on at least 35 miles on my legs today. This was intense. But damn, this was one hell of a good day. I mean, all the food I ate, all the drinks I drank, the marathon, all the sights I saw, what a fantastic adventure this has been. And now I'm gonna rest up, get ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow is another day in the spectacular city of Nashville.